From one shot combos to knowing how to use every move to its max potential, this is how to play Metal Bat like a pro. Starting off with Home Run, this move is a block break and can be used to switch up your playstyle every once in a while, but this is typically recommended for hitting grounded enemies. You can also do a different variant of it if you miss the first hit of it. However, this isn't recommended at all and will typically get you killed. For now, there isn't any real use of it so far. Home Run can also hit projectiles. However, I highly recommend that you don't try doing this because the timing is so horrible that you actually landing it means that you completely predicted the enemy or you just got really lucky. Next one being beatdown. This is by far the buggiest move in the game. I highly recommend not doing this move after ragdoll canceling and I wouldn't recommend treating it like a front dash either since the end lag upon missing it is absolutely insane and the move can be easily blocked. However, this move can combo off a front dash extend and off a foul ball as long as you side dash before using it. I would also be careful of people using the ragdoll cancel after you hit them with the move so you can either try to block their m1s or roll away personally i would back roll if you think they're going to ragdoll cancel out because the end lag is too much to block fast enough if they ragdoll cancel right away grand slam this move has two variants to it the air variant which requires your target to be in the air this is easy to do with the m1 reset off of it and the grounded variant which requires your opponent to be ragdolled on the ground this can be comboed with a front dash or optionally you can walk forward to enable you to do m1 reset attack both moves are quite dangerous though if your opponent has ragdoll cancel they can easily get you into a combo from there so i'd be warned of that this move can also block break however this isn't recommended since you can easily get comboed off of it you can use grand slam after foul ball and this will be inescapable however i would be careful of that because it can be a little ping dependent so it can miss entirely so i'd be careful of that you can also use it off of front dash but once again very dangerous depending on your ping foul ball there's two variants to foul ball the one where you hit it and it'll fling the target and the one where if you miss you just send a rock flying out towards them. Another thing is that you can do 3 on ones into side dash into foul ball and that will make for an inescapable combo. Now for the other variant you can knock somebody down and use the rock to fling them towards you and jumping to the right of them. I recommend doing this by aiming towards the center of the body since this seems to be the most consistent way of doing it. This move can hit grounded enemies as well as block break however I don't recommend using it like this unless you know your opponent doesn't have an counter and they already use their side dash and front or back Roll. Now for some potential tech for foul ball that I can't exactly do, however they're both possible. The first one being is if you do the emote side dash tech to gain extra distance with your side dashes, you could get behind the opponent and start M1ing them, and this would allow for an M1 reset, which in turn would make the most damaging inescapable combo that Metal Bat has. However, this does rely on the fact that your HP has to be high enough for your side dash distance to not be reduced. The other tech is after hitting them on the ground with the rock, you just walk to where they would go and or side dash and then you could get an m1 reset if your side dash is off of cooldown just another side note during the animation of home run beat down and foul ball people can run into a move and hit you with a counter so be warned of that so you don't get death countered easily for his passive ability you gain all by getting damaged by m1s and normal abilities this means that all abilities do not give you your all this is especially useful in duos considering that you're almost guaranteed your all and on top of that you can most of the time get at least one one of their lives with it. For his awakening startup, I recommend down slamming someone first before using it, or if they just use both of their dashes and they're right next to you, but it would do reduce damage if that happens. Savage Tornado. I recommend using this ability first and try to get decently close to your target, since if they're Sonic or Genos, they can most of the time easily run away. Brutal Beatdown. I recommend using this as your second move. Also, at the end bit of it, I would personally zoom out and look down to see where your target is going towards. However, in the event that your target target is too far away from where you started, I recommend not trying to catch them, but instead try to hit them with the end bit specifically, since that does the most damage out of the entire move. Strength Difference I recommend using this move after Savage Tornado, Death Blow, and even after 4M1s. However, make sure the enemy doesn't have the Ragdoll Cancel, or else they'll get you into a free combo. Death Blow This is basically Walmart Death Counter, however, this can also be used during the startup of Savage Tornado and Brutal Beatdown. Be warned that projectiles can activate this too, so I wouldn't use this move to get immunity frames, but instead use it with the intent of countering someone entirely, that or extra damage at the end of your ultimate. Since just having this move makes it so people don't want to hit you during your startups, I would just use this move depending on how you'd read your opponent. Now for the combos. I'm going to show a basic one-shot combo, two advanced one-shot combos, and the highest damaging inescapable combo that Metal Bat has. For the basic one-shot combo, it's 4M1s, home run, side dash, 3M1s, down slam, back roll, 
Grand Slam, Forum Ones, Side Dash, Foul Ball, Side Dash, Beat Down, 3M Ones, Down Slam, Home Run, Side Dash, 3M Ones, Down Slam, Back Roll, Grand Slam. For the Advanced One Shot Combo, it's 4M Ones, Side Dash, Foul Ball, Front Dash, 3M Ones, Uppercut, Beat Down, 3M Ones, Down Slam, Home Run, Side Dash, 3M Ones, Down Slam, Back Roll, Grand Slam, Walk Forward, 4M Ones, Side Dash, Foul Ball. Make sure to do all the M1s slowly so you can get the combo off correctly. For the second advanced one shot combo, it's an M1 reset into Uppercut, Grand Slam, M1 reset, 4th M1, Home Run, Side Dash, 3 M1s, Down Slam, Foul Ball, Side Dash, Beat Down, 3 M1s, Down Slam, Back Roll, Grand Slam. For the inescapable combo, it's the M1 Reset Tech into 3M1s, Side Dash, Foul Ball, Side Dash, Beat Down. If you're having trouble remembering any of that, I'll leave the combos in the description below. However, that will be the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it and leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see you next time.